Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the people show. Check the post fascination brought to you. The Nebraska Spine Hospital, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't help but wonder why were we? Why was Nebraska such an easy target for the national media? It's no secret that the national media has had their fun taking shots at our coach, at our team, and at the and at Nebraska itself, basically in general. Desmond Howard. You all probably know most of this, but if in case you missed it, here's a quick recap. Desmond Howard basically said if he were in charge, he'd be doing everything he can to find a way to kick Nebraska out of the Big Ten Conference, and then he's pretty much blocked everyone under God's hot sun on Twitter ever since. Michael Wilbon went on PTI and basically told Nebraska to get out. We don't need you. All right, Pat Ford went on the Tony Kornheiser show. Basically, Pat and Tony both kind of mock Scott Frost, but... Pat outright called Scott Frost a moron, and there's more. There's no need to rehash all of it. You get the picture in case you missed any of it. So there's three reasons that I believe we were such an easy target for the national media. All right, first, and we've been in the Big Ten for 10 years. That's a decade. All right, it's a decent amount of time, right? But we're still the new kids on the block. Now, you got to keep in mind, the Big Ten Conference originally started in 1896. Just as an example, our good buddies, Iowa, joined the Big Ten Conference in 1899. Now, Michigan State, they're kind of a newbie by Big Ten standards. They joined in 1949. And I know Rutgers and Maryland, they joined after after us, but I'm talking about us specifically. But outside of Nebraska, Rutgers, and Maryland, the newest newbie in the Big Ten is Penn State, who joined in 1990. That's 30 years. All right, so here's my point. We're kind of the new kids on the block. In my opinion, I think we're still seen as outsiders, at least to a degree. Now, just as an example, right, we've never represented the Big Ten in the Rose Bowl, whether it be as a Big Ten team or a Big Ten champion. That's not a shot at, at Nebraska football in any way, shape, or form. To me, I think it just scopes how people view us. And in short... Basically, we're not part of the good old boys club, all right? Number two, all right, now when we, the second reason, now when we said we wanted to play, we were basically told that we needed to know our place and we needed to be quiet and we were arrogant. We're not who we once were. We're never going to be again, yada, 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 so on and so forth. You get the point. All right, now when Ohio State said the same thing that they wanted to play, all right, now all of a sudden the narrative became, became Ohio State leads charge to bring back college football in the Big Ten or something to that effect. You get my point. Now, what's the difference? We're saying the same thing, but what is the difference? Why is the narrative so completely different? Well, let's be honest. We've not had the recent success that Ohio State has had. Now, nobody in the Big Ten Conference has had the recent success that Ohio State has had. They've done very, very well. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about wins and losses. All right. Now, history is written by the winners, and Nebraska is a winner. But if you look at recent history, Ohio State has a lot more of them. History is written by the winners, and the future is controlled by those who have power. And in college football, wins and losses dictates who has power. Okay, translation, if and when we start winning again, the narrative will completely change. Number three, the third reason. Now, I believe we're an easy target. That's what this show's about, all right? We're, we're an easy target, which leads to clickbait. It leads to views, and it leads to lots of clicks. Now, because of number one and number two, we're not part of the good old boys club, and we haven't had the recent success that we would like to have had, all right, the fact that we used to kind of kill people, and whip everyone's rear end every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Well, every Saturday. You know what I mean. You get the point. Everybody, a lot of teams, a lot of people kind of hated us for that. All right. So now that we're rebuilding and we're perceived as being down, and we are down from what we used to be, but we're rebuilding, basically, it gives everyone a chance to kick us while we're down. Now, personally, I have an inherent distrust because of my personal experience time and time again with the majority of, of the media, or at least the media members that I've dealt with in the past. Now, that doesn't mean everyone in the media all right, is, is not good or whatever the case may be. There's definitely good people in the media. Let me be very, very clear. But I have a distrust for a good portion of the folks in the media just based on my personal experience. Okay, let me be very clear. There's good folks in the media. All right, if that offends a member of the media, I might add, then don't be like some of the people I've met. Don't get offended and don't be like them. All right, now, here's what, it, here's what it's about. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about clicks, it's about views, it's not about reality. The reality is, right now, we're an easy target, okay? And kicking us while we're down means clicks and it means views. For me, I say, enjoy it while you can. I don't know how long it'll take, but those days are numbered. Go big, red, and always remember to throw the bird. 
Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.